Okay, in this screencast I'm going to have a look at the process of inviting members to participate in a collaborative space and the process for assigning people membership to a space and looking at the differences in those. So I've come into Ultranet and logged into a community space and here we've created a, um, a space for the primary school fundraising team. And what we want to do first perhaps is assign some teachers to that space so we need to go to the tab up the top here called community spaces I own and that brings up for us the actions button on the right hand side so if we go to actions as an owner of the space this is the menu that we get and we need to go to assign members now if we're going to assign members we need to look for the available members because the um, listing that will come up will show the current members of that space so I'm going to click on the available tab and that will bring up the um, contact details or email addresses for people who are within Ultranet and are available to join this space and this can take a little bit of time to load in this case we're going to look for a teacher to join the space and we're going to assign them membership which means that the space will automatically appear for them when they click on the tab community spaces I have joined so they don't have to go through that joining process and it will also mean that they cannot leave the space voluntarily so they would have to be unassigned to the space by you as the owner because they're not able to leave that space on their own Okay, so that available tab has come up and it's showing us that there are 64,000 possibilities to join that space but what we're looking for is a particular teacher and we're going to call her um, B teacher because this is a fictitious a school we're looking at here so we'll do a search. For B teacher in the system. And again, this takes a little while to load. And what we have down here when we scroll down is the result. So there's the B teacher and what we need to do is click the tick box there and then click on update associations. And now that B teacher has joined our space. The other alternative to assigning people to spaces and I'll just return to full page here is to invite people to a space in order to invite people to a space we need to once again click on community spaces I own and go to the actions tab and scroll up to invite member and given that this is a fundraising space it might be a parent that we want to invite so we click on the parents tab and this gives us, again these are fictitious email addresses, it gives us the parents at our schools uh, contact emails and what we need to do is find the appropriate parents who are on the fundraising team, click on the button next to or the little tick box next to their name and then scroll down and send that invitation. So that will automatically send an email to that parent, in this case Bob, and invite him to participate in our fundraising space. As a, an invited member of a space, Bob is able to freely leave the space whenever he wishes. So they're the two ways of getting people to join your collaborative spaces.